So, I have this little problem. I really like vintage clothing and I don't wear it enough to justify having it all, but I do. So, um, over the past year or so, I have collected several vintage nightgowns and I know what you're thinking. Why? Because I'm living out my pajama party dreams. Don't you understand? Yes, this is a VHS tape. Now I know what you're thinking. What's a VHS tape? Well, you're too young to know. And if you think I'm too young to know, you should know. I'm an elder millennial. So yes, I'm a millennial. But I'm like at the top. So anyway, um, yeah, I go to the thrift stores from time to time. And um, <sighs> things jump out at me. They just, they jump into my arms and they're like, Aunt Carice, I want to go home with you. And I let them, okay? Especially when they're only like $3. Everything I'm gonna show you was less than $7. Um, some of these things I got at Goodwill. I think I'm, I think I got all of these at Goodwill, different trips. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that I want to show you, this, and they are all actual vintage. Um, some are older than others, but vintage is, you know, a, for past long time periods, this is basically what it means, you know. That's not the Google dictionary, but anyway. So this is also, like, available on Etsy. Can you see that? You can't. Anyway, I'm about to show you the real thing. This one is kind of that baby doll style I really enjoy. Um, look at her. And I do actually wear these. Not all the time. Okay. But just look how pretty. Um, this this one this one is the one that makes me feel like pajama party I don't know if you've ever seen that but they have a really fun song she sings about a stuffed animal and it's probably my favorite shall I sing a piece for you okay <clears throat> she's literally wearing a nightgown that's like this color she's got a little roby thing over it He's close to me. Always gentle as a matter of fact a stuffed This is such a fun movie. Like, this is a movie that I watched over and over again in my childhood. Okay, uh, this was made, when was this made? In 64, I'm not that old. But anyway, okay, so this is my first one, and here's me wearing it. All right, this next one, it's really close to the border of grandma vintage, which is upsetting because all the other ones I feel like are really cute and have purposes and I got them because they reminded me of certain characters and certain things. 
but this one it's borderline it does I do think Betty Draper has one kind of similar to this um, but it's my least favorite of all of them because it is the most grandmother-ish now maybe it's actually not as grandmother-ish as I'm thinking it is and I just happen to have seen my grandmother wear <laughs> one like this but I mean it it's pretty it's got nice lace and it's just a flowy nightgown but um it's it's my least favorite of them all I don't hate it but it's also very um you can't really wear this one too much in the summer because the material is kind of polyester hot-ish but anyway okay so here's this one now this is me wearing it this is how he wears it <laughs> seem grandma-ish too but let me tell you why I've purchased it focus on me okay this is extremely reminiscent of Ariel's nightgown when she stayed in Eric's castle and the night oh my gosh it, the, I want to recreate the scene but it would take a big fluffy bed it would take lots of beautiful lighting I would need at least three or four people to help me with filming it so basically it's out of the question at this point in time but you know that scene where it's her first night in the castle as a human and they give her that beautiful this one's not as beautiful and not as perfect but it could pass for she's got the little frillies on her sleeves and on the collar of her pink nightgown and she jumps up and like lands on the bed on all bouncy on the fluffy blanket oh my gosh and it's just like the most it looks the most comfortable I mean this is a cartoon we're talking about but it's something that I want <laughs> for my life anyway so yeah this one is my aerial gown um, which is actually very comfortable one time my uncle came over unexpectedly and I was wearing this <laughs> embarrassing and he told me that I looked like Wendy from Peter Pan um, but he's probably talking about a remake version because there's this one version of it that I don't think I look anything like the girl but she's got long blonde hair and in high school everybody told me that I looked like her but I literally don't like there's nothing about us that looks the same except for the fact that we have blonde hair I don't even think she has blue eyes I don't know anyway so here's this one <laughs>
This last one is probably my favorite. It is the longest and the one I would be the most upset if it got ruined. Um, but Betty Draper actually wore one almost identical to this in Mad Men. Look at her. Isn't she the cutest? You can't focus. It's not focusing, but I have it, so it's fine. Um, so this one has a robe on the top, okay? And then underneath is the actual gown. It has a robe, a matching robe, okay? All right. But look, it's got that same exact butterfly thing going on just like hers and it's pink her embroidery wasn't pink it was kind of a mm, it was, hers was a cream and then this was cream too but i know that it's made by the same designer um and all these are like these are actual vintage it makes me so happy um but anyway yeah so this one's my favorite these are this one is the only one that's floor length and it has a robe, a robe. Okay, anyway, so, and then here is this last Betty Draper look. there you go that's all of them i probably don't need to buy any more because i i in real life too i have i love a nightgown i just i don't want don't get me sweatpants i don't want to wear leggings bed i don't like pants you know that when you stick your legs under the covers your pants just ride up your leg that's so annoying and also it's it's just weird no i don't mm -mm, no um so I love a nightgown. I have an actual problem in real life with non-vintage nightgowns. Um, I like a long sleeve one for the winter time. Ugh, those are great. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, I'm just living my best nightgown character living my dreams life. I'm, I'm just having a pajama party in real life. And I'm pretending to be Betty Draper and Ariel, and it's fantastic, okay? <laughs> oh, living out my vintage fantasies. Well, you know, that sounds weird. When you say fantasy, people almost always take it the wrong way, but you know better, okay? Behave yourself. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope that you like this video by actually liking it and um, maybe subscribe to my channel because I don't know okay bye <laughs> the one good thing about this quarantine is that my wardrobe can now consist completely of my vintage nightgowns which means I can finally fulfill my destiny of making my neighbors wonder if I'm a ghost It literally didn't take a screenshot when I asked it to take a screenshot. Are you serious? Life is so annoying. Hold on. Oh. A stuffed animal just loves to be kissed. Soft and cuddly and hard to resist. If you're wondering if he loves you so. A stuffed animal never says no. That's probably too much, but...